Did you know you can use other people's videos to create your own video without getting a copyright strike or a copyright claim from YouTube? Yeah, I know I've come across many creators who have been using Creative Commons videos but still receive copyright claims from YouTube. Well, that might be due to the fact that they are trying to overlook some of the basic principles of using a Creative Commons content. In this video, we are going to iron out all you need to know about being able to start using Creative Commons videos or other people's videos on YouTube to create your own videos without getting any strike or copyright claims from YouTube. Hi, I'm Winston the Solopreneur Warrior and in this video, you will learn what Creative Commons videos are, how to find them and finally, how to use them in your video so you don't get any copyright strike. But before we get into all that, if this is your first time to this channel and you are interested in making money with the videos you upload on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Now, what are Creative Commons videos? According to YouTube, Creative Commons licenses provide a standard way for content creators to grant someone else the permission to use their work. You see, on YouTube, video creators are allowed to mark their videos with a Creative Commons license. Now, if you happen to have marked your videos with a Creative Commons license, you are basically retaining your rights to that video. And that means other people can reuse the video subjected to the terms of the Creative Commons license. So by making your original video with Creative Commons license, you are granting the entire YouTube community the rights to reuse and edit that video. Basically, you can edit and reuse a Creative Commons video to create your own unique video on YouTube. Now, if that's the case, why do some YouTube creators who use Creative Commons videos still get a strike or a copyright claim after using it? Well, there might be a couple of reasons for that. For a start, some creators basically download a Creative Commons video and without making any changes to it, they turn around and upload the very video on YouTube. Now, uploading Creative Commons videos without editing it might easily result to a strike because some creators, for whatever reason, simply take the videos of other creators with a standard license and re-upload the video on YouTube, but this time, marking the video as a Creative common video. Now when they do that, anyone who comes across the video might think this video is a creative common video and using that video will definitely lead to a copyright strike. Another reason why you can get a copyright strike on YouTube when using a Creative Commons video is by not giving the appropriate Creative Commons attribute as stated in the original video content. Most often, the Creative Commons offers four different types of licenses. You have the attribution license, which requires anyone using the content to give some kind of attribution. No derivatives here means you don't have to change, modify, or alter the content in any form. So in this case, the content must be used as is. Then you have the non-commercial license, which can only be used for non-commercial purposes. The last type of Creative Commons license is share alike, which gives you the permission to adapt or modify the content any way you want, but the end result must be released under a Creative Commons license. Now, apart from those four different types of licenses, there is also a legal doctrine that says you can reuse copyright protected material under certain circumstances without getting permission from the copyright owner, and that is known as fair use. Now, you have to understand that different countries have different rules about when it's okay to use materials without the copyright owner's permission. For example, in the United States, works of commentary, criticism, research, teaching, or news reporting might be considered as fair use. Other countries have a similar idea called fair dealing that might work a little bit different from fair use. Now, with all that in mind, we'll be dealing with the fair use doctrine in this case, which means we'll be using the YouTube Creative Commons videos and re-editing it to make it kind of unique without receiving any copyright strike from YouTube. Now, there are two major ways you can go about this. You can either do it manually or with the help of a software. Let's first start with the manual process, but you don't want to miss how to do it the easy way, and that will be towards the ending of this video. 
You can start the manual process by making a search for your targeted keyword on YouTube and then click on the filter feature here below the search bar and select the Creative Commons option. YouTube will now display all the supposedly Creative Commons videos. I say supposedly because you can hardly be sure if all the videos here are 100% copyright free. Which is why full editing of any Creative Commons video you choose here is required. Now, the next step is going through some of these videos, checking first if the videos are marked with a Creative Commons license and you can know that by first clicking through to the video page. When the video page finally opens, you want to click on the show more feature here below the description area to expand it and here below the description area, you'll be able to see where it says Creative Commons license or the YouTube standard default license. You might also want to click through to check if there is any specific attribution attached to the creative license. Now, after going through some of the videos displayed on the search results and you happen to come across a video you would like to use, the next step is downloading the video. I know there are many different web apps that will help you download a YouTube video, but I like adding SS in front of the video link and it will take me to this page where I can download the video. You can also just make a search on Google for a free YouTube video downloader and use that. After downloading the video, you want to do your best to re-edit it so that it's totally unique from the original Creative Commons video and that's where many creators get it wrong. Now, the idea here is that the video you are downloading can be used as a guide to add on the original video or just be inspired by it to come up with your own unique video. By re-editing your Creative Commons videos before uploading it on YouTube will help save your video from any copyright strike or monetization issue on the YouTube platform. That's exactly what the Pinotech Miner channel is doing. As you can see in this video clip, his channel is monetized. Now, because his channel is monetized, that tells me that a support team from YouTube, not a software, not a bot, no, someone from the YouTube review team actually reviewed his channel before enabling monetization on the channel. As you know now on YouTube, before a channel is allowed to be monetized with AdSense, one of YouTube's latest review employers have to check out the channel. Now, if you go through this channel, you see that almost all, if not all of the videos are Creative Commons videos. The key here is, how you edit your Creative Commons videos. So, how do you do that? Well, you have to think about editing the video background sound or voice over, the images in the video if necessary. I mean, all you should maintain in the video is a video context. Better still, add on that context. Now, we all know that re-editing a video is also a lot of work, which is why many creators are using shortcuts and finally failing with using Creative Commons videos. That is where a tool like Gripfeed comes into play, an automated way of editing and reusing Creative Commons videos with lightning speed. Now, not only does the Gripfeed tool make the process of video creation easy and fast, it will also help you if you are struggling to find new ideas and content for your new videos. Basically, Gripfeed is a brand new software which translates, adds captions and snatches royalty-free content from YouTube for fast video creation. Graphit will help you automatically extract the audio from your videos, transcribe them and convert them into auto captions using artificial intelligence. It will help you easily add text, change your font size, color, add background images and videos, customize anything and everything with point and click simplicity. By using the tool, you also get access to thousands of dollars worth of premium stock images and stock videos to use in your next video, as well as done for you templates to choose from. Just check out this short video clip on how you can use the GrabFit software to create lightning fast unique videos using Creative Commons videos from YouTube.